Hey, what's up? It's Tammy Farrell, and we are here for the Inner City Arts Imagine Gala. It's a star-filled night honoring some of Hollywood's greatest celebrities. Let's get a nice conversation in with some of the best. I didn't know that it would catch on with anybody. I didn't, had no idea. You know, we based a lot of it on Ray Romano's actual family, and what I didn't know about the characters in his family, the people, I filled in with the characters in my family. And we wrote very specifically about those people. But today we get letters from Sri Lanka saying, that's my mother. And I don't know how it happened, but I would imagine that if you write very specifically about things, and this is the best advice I can give to a writer, that's when it becomes universal. If you try to write vaguely and hit everybody, you're going to miss everybody. So write exactly the specific life that you know. I'm not sure how old she is, but how... 25. I, I looked it up. I want her to, I want her to triple it. Happy birthday, Doris. We love you. Now, who is this? I... He's a friend of mine, a guy, his name is Doris. He's in therapy about that. I don't know what this problem is, but I'm going to give it to Doris because she's a gem of a person. I thought that it would be better that way, Doris. <laughs> but I do this, and you see, marriages can, be, can get in trouble for all kinds of reasons. What would be bad about, look at this. I'm giving this to her. It's a giant, it costs a fortune. Shirley would say to me, and did, in the car, what are you bringing that big, dumb bunny for? There. I said, because it's loving and good. She said, I don't want to be married to a guy who has to bring a stuffed animal to every party. That's a very strange compulsion. And I said, if everybody in the world brought a stuffed animal instead of a pistol, we would be in great shape. Interesting. It's very Take true. You are looking absolutely stunning tonight, as Thank always. You. And this is such a great organization. It is. And how has philanthropy really played a role in your life? How has what? Philanthropy. Oh, and philanthropy. Charity. Well, I've been doing these kinds of things, you know, for different causes all my all my life and career. But this one, I think, is very important because the, you know the Skid Row kids. I think the arts make a big difference for young people, you know, learning about the arts, learning them, giving the opportunity to learn them. I'm doing, besides doing concerts all over the country, I do seminars for young people too, high school students that are studying the arts, and they are so wonderful, they are so open for, you know, the conversation, so open with the questions, so smart, and I think learning about the arts really gives them a great deal of intelligence besides the math and the you know what I'm saying I think it's very important for young people now you are America's favorite mom you are timeless you're a classic and you were just on Dancing with the Stars and yeah. did phenomenal tell me about that experience I loved it it was one of the most intense experiences that I've had in this business I mean and I've been through a lot of the wars in my career but uh, it was also one of the most rewarding, you know. You work seven days a week, many hours a day, and it's not just learning the dance. You're always filming something else. And uh, I think there was great camaraderie, be you know, between the cast. I adored my partner, Corky Ballas. We had a great time, and we'll dance again at the finale. So, well, Doris, I love you. You know that. You're, a, you're an inspiration to all of us. You're a great actress, and we all... You know, kneel at your feet and say thank you. All right, we've already had an exciting night so far. I just talked to Mother Brady herself, Florence Henderson. Had great advice, has a great heart, and is an incredible dancer. I should have had her teach me some skills because I was born with two left feet. But we have many more exciting interviews, so stay tuned and we'll keep you updated. What made you get involved with this incredible organization? Well, because it deals with children who are living in Skid Row. And in school, they've taken away the only thing that makes something like sense for them. They take away the arts, dancing, music, singing, writing, play, I mean, playing instruments, I mean, painting. Uh, they can't do that. I mean, they're, not make, they're making mistakes by doing that. So this, this organization is trying to put all that back and I th I'm very proud of them. Do you have any advice for any young artists out there today? 
Oh, Get out of town. Yes, yeah, it's tough. Uh, you have to really love love it and you have to persevere. Hey guys, Tammy Farrell here again for WTV. We've had an amazing night tonight. We got to talk with the one and the only honoree of the evening, Doris Roberts, and the daughter-in-law that she loved to hate on Everybody Loves Raymond, Patricia Heaton, who is doing an incredible job on the middle and an amazing and hysterical person. We also got Mama Brady out here tonight, Florence Henderson straight off of Dancing with the Stars. All in all, I think we've had a great night, and thank you all for tuning in. We will see you next time.